Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to start out today with a presentation about the coming revolution for biotech and healthcare stocks, John. one of the two most important sectors in the market uh, for the next 10 years, the other one being technology stocks. So as I said, uh, biotech and healthcare is the other most important sector in addition to technology. And you can buy these stocks at absolute bargain basement prices right now. Many of the lead stocks are down 50 to 75%. So uh, there are pickings to be had, as they say. Uh, the 90,000 foot view, uh, we are on the eve of a golden age of biotech and healthcare investment. The pandemic has flooded the industry with billions of dollars, which they are investing to create a biotech revolution. A wealth of new 10 baggers is presenting itself. Best biotech entry point in years, really at a decade, may be at hand to cash in. You must know uh, which names to shoot for. This is the ultimate name picking sector because some drugs are spectacularly successful, uh, like the mRNA technology, which is being used to create the COVID shots and others are complete bombs. <laughs> People invest billions to get up to phase three trials and then they fail. Uh, they don't get their government approval. Uh, and that's me, uh, that's my co-pilot flying a MiG-29 uh, over Russia at 90,000 feet. Uh, MiG-29s recently become popular. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go balloon flying for a moment. Let's see. Okay, um, come on, wake up. Come on, computer, wake up. Oh, it doesn't want to go. Okay, let's try that. I have, why listen to John Thomas? Well, I have 53 years of experience in the global financial markets, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Tokyo and later the White House, 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley, a brief time out as a Marine Corps combat pilot, Desert Storm, 10 years running the first international dedicated hedge fund, five years fracking for natural gas in Texas, 14 years publishing the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader. I am one of a handful of founders of the modern hedge fund industry. Take my half century of trading experience and add it to your own. Learn from my trading mistakes so you don't have to repeat them. Believe me, there have been plenty. Oh, and if you ever need a ride up to 9,000 feet in a hot air balloon, I'm your guy. I have a commercial pilot's license which covers hot air balloons. Uh, and there you can see me at nine, uh, ascending over Albuquerque, New Mexico in the uh, annual balloon festival there. So my family origins are very humble. Uh, growing up as the oldest of seven children on a remote farm in Southern California. I lived the all-American childhood playing Little League baseball and becoming an Eagle Scout. There wasn't much to do in rural California in those days but hunting, so I picked up a job as a paperboy for the Los Angeles Herald Examiner. I found stock pages, bought IBM at 20 and sold it at 30, and suddenly found a far better way to make money than delivering newspapers off the back of a bicycle. Uh, by the time I was 16, I earned enough money to fly to Europe. By the age of 17, I had more than 50 countries uh, and spoke four languages. At UCLA, I majored in math and DNA research, which landed me a job at the nuclear test site in Nevada. Their yield didn't mean interest paid, but millions of Russians killed. I didn't see much of a future in that, so the government decided to send me to Southeast Asia for a few years of research where I learned to fly and jump out of perfectly good airplanes. There I advised the militaries of America's Asian allies. As the war wound down, I became a foreign correspondent for The Economist magazine in London. When they learned I had a math degree, they switched me over to covering the Asian economy and the stock market. Ta-da! And after 10 years of government service, all I got was this box of medals, which I trot out once uh, a year on Veterans Day. Uh, as a foreign correspondent, I covered China during the Cultural Revolution, was the first American reporter to visit North Korea since the Korean War, 
and covered the rest of the continent all the way out to India. If you're wondering why I'm so skinny in this picture, it's because there was a famine going on where 50 million Chinese died. Government never admitted to it. Uh, even just finding a single egg uh, in town required a major effort. Uh, I figured out very quickly, you didn't have to be that smart to make money in the stock market. So I got into the industry, joining Morgan Stanley. After 10 years there, I started my own hedge fund. And that's me losing the All Japan National Karate Championships. Never enter a karate final with a broken wrist, which I did, but at least I made it to the finals. I rapidly became the top performing hedge fund of the 1990s eventually bringing in a 1,000% return in a decade. Uh, then the money really started to pour in. It's an understatement to say that when your income goes from the thousands to the tens of millions, it has a really big impact on your lifestyle. You get to do things like fly your own private plane around Europe, buy the latest hot car, go marlin fishing in Mexico, and collect vintage Rolls Royces for fun and profit. Uh, of course, 84.73% trailing uh, one-year return. That's our current one-year return. Helps pay for all this. And uh, by the way, you can have this performance too if you listen on. I now spend my days pursuing my first love, finding winning trade alerts. But now I do it from my three mansions in San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, and Zermatt, Switzerland. I've quit turning millionaires into billionaires. There's far more satisfaction leveling the playing field for the average guy and teaching him how to trade. And that includes you. If I can take a $50,000 account, turn it into 500,000, that is far more job satisfaction than I could ever get anywhere. Uh, this is the house that I built uh, in uh, Tiburon about 30 years ago. Bought the house once owned by Steve McQueen, the actor, tore it down and built this thing. And then I sold it uh, and uh, it got torn down for a much more modern house. But there is the view. You can see the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge in the distance. I usually hike around Lake Tahoe once a year in the winter on snowshoes. That's a 160 mile trip. And that's my house in Zermatt, Switzerland, which I haven't been able to visit now in nearly three years because of the pandemic. However, every silver lining has a cloud. Uh, this is my 2020 tax return. Shows I made 8.2 million in taxes on my uh, $20 million in trading income. Uh, in the little free time I have left, I pursue my other love, flying vintage aircraft on weekends. You see an old plane flying loops over San Francisco or London these days. It's probably me. That's my 1932 de Havilland Tiger Moth in Cambridge, England. That's a 1947 RAF trainer uh, with, and my old friend, a Battle of Britain pilot who taught me my aerobatics, and that's a Boeing Stearman. Uh, as a Marine Corps veteran, I volunteer for grief counseling for widows and orphans, and I'm a major donor to wounded warriors. When wildfires hit California, I visited the main evacuation centers and handed out $10,000 worth of Target gift cards. And that's my in-laws house up in Sonoma, completely burned to the ground. Notice the SIF box, they're looking for a wedding ring. They eventually found it because it was made out of platinum, which has a higher melting point than gold. That's one of the little tidbits you learn trading commodities for 50 years. So uh, biotech and healthcare is one of the seminal investment themes of our lifetime. Uh, and they will dominate in the coming decade. These two industries will account for 80% of stock market profits through 2030. Invest in these two industries, you can forget about everything else. You will have the waterfront covered, at least the most interesting parts. You already know tech well, as it had been a major driver of stock prices since the 2009 stock market crash. That is about to change as biology becomes the electricity of the 21st century. Uh, this is what biotech can do for you. Biogen, one of our recommendations, was up 85% in one day uh, on discovering the first Alzheimer's drug in 16 years. Of course, we sold out of our position then. Uh, that's what you have to do when you get an 85% return in one day. Take the profit. 
Uh, what has been holding biotech and healthcare until now? Well, healthcare is the last 19th century industry, making it ripe for disruption with thousands of local monopolies, usually your local hospital. It is heavily protected as a major campaign donor. Uh, notice that uh, the government still cannot negotiate uh, drug prices on a national level, no matter which party is in power. How about that? Available stock research is minimal and difficult to understand. All kinds of funny names for these drugs, which even I can't pronounce. And I have a degree in this subject. The industry is a political football with threats of nationalization, national health care, and drug price controls ebbing and flowing. As a result, biotech and healthcare have been unloved and ignored for years. The end result is that stocks are cheap with many growth companies selling at substantial discounts to the main market. Uh, these are the COVID big six, the companies that developed vaccines in record time. They were great investments two years ago. They've earned billions to pour into other projects, which they are doing at an incredible rate. Those include Pfizer, which used the BioNTech uh, shots from Germany, Moderna, uh, AstraZeneca, Novavax, Sanofi, and Johnson & Johnson. Booster shots are now a permanent new market. Third booster shots are already approved for immunocompromised people as well as the rest of us. When extended to the entire population, uh, it'll be another gift for the industry. A combined COVID flu booster shot will be available in a year and it'll become an annual thing for a lot of families. It all creates a permanent market of 200 million shots a year for approved vaccine providers or about $4 billion a year in guaranteed revenues. Or actually, I should say guaranteed profits of $404 billion a year. Uh, that's me getting my first shot uh, up at Lake Tahoe. And uh, the CEO of the company gave me my shot while he was sticking me. We were chatting about his business model. I'm always milking people for information wherever I go. Uh, AstraZeneca, of course, the stock performs spectacularly well uh, with their shot. That's a mad hedge two-bagger, got a double out of it, and we expect this to continue. Uh, Sanofi, same thing. Um, after its recent sell-off, it's now actually got a pretty good entry point, so you can catch the next leg of the COVID vaccination boom. And Novovax, same chart for all three of these companies, again, looking for new highs, didn't even bother to sell off uh, in the recent meltdown in the market. Of course, RNA vaccines are key to all this. Uh, I actually was a scientist uh, involved in the early development of this technology back in the early 1970s. But back then, I figured it would take a thousand years to get any usable products out. Boy, was I wrong. Uh, went into the stock market instead. So. Oh, that's life for you. Uh, we're, uh, these were in development for years before the pandemic, and we were recommending the stocks like Moderna because uh, it can be used not just to cure COVID, but all human diseases. The initial goal was to cure cancer. It transfers synthetic RNA into human cells, teaches human cells to create antibodies to fight any disease, will revolutionize all vaccines and possibly all disease treatments, uh, not just for COVID-19, but for all human illnesses. Uh, there are a few diseases that won't cure. Smoking and obesity are two of the big ones. Uh, but a, a, a vaccine won't help you at all on that. Uh, here's Moderna. We got a 50 bagger. It's a 50 times increase from our original recommendation pre-pandemic to the recent peak. Uh, so what will change going forward? Well, there's an exciting combination of new technologies is coming together, much like the creation of the PC, Windows, and the internet all at the same time in the early 1990s. The result of that, that revolution was a tenfold to 1,000-fold increase uh, in stock market performances. The same will happen in biotech and healthcare from the early 2020s. This time it'll be human genomics, supercomputers, big data, 
and advance algorithms that come together at the same time and create a new golden age for biotech investment. Most human diseases will be cured in a decade, spinning off immense profits for the innovators. Corona's almost gone. We've had a stunning 97% decline in cases in a month, down to 42,000 cases a, da a day now, from a million cases plus a month and a half ago. Uh, under five vaccines delayed, but could be out as early as April. Most states are dropping mass mandates, uh, including here in California, where students uh, no longer had to wear masks to school as of Monday. Pandemic is close to no longer being a factor for the economy. Uh, it's still going to zero by summer. Book those cruises. U.S. cases now at 80 million and deaths are peaking out right around 977,000. Deaths are down to 5,000 to 500 a day from the peak 5,000 six weeks ago. Uh, these are current reported cases on the way to zero by summer. One of the fastest uh, pandemic spikes uh, and then collapses ever seen in human history happened in just the last four months. This was the infection rate in the United States on February 2nd. Virtually every county was at maximum infection rates. And this is it today. Uh, actually, um, uh, as of March 2nd, one month later, uh, it's almost absent from every county except for a few hotspots here and there. Uh, and then you're seeing this regionally too with every uh, corner of the country also seeing dramatic fall offs. Uh, Idaho is just a little bit slow. That could be just a reporting issue. So imagine the future. One day of exams will specify exactly when and what you will die of. A program will then specify a treatment regime that will postpone of your death, possibly by decades. Another program will enable you to increase your quality of life right now. The reality is you can get this cutting edge analysis and treatment today at a secret San Diego lab, but it costs $25,000 a person and is not covered by insurance. It's only available to wealthy people. And that is often the case with many new technologies like the automobile or the computer, only available to the rich uh, right out the gate. In a decade, this process will be available for a mere hundred dollars. Live another decade and you'll easily live past a hundred, maybe even to 150. Uh, so healthcare has risen by uh, 650 percent in 10 years. This is the Healthcare Select ETF, which is a basket of the top 20 healthcare stocks. And biotech has gone up even faster uh, and will break out to new highs once we get through this current war and do sell off. Uh, healthcare is the last, uh, let's see, okay, got covered this. Uh, artificial intelligence is now permeating every aspect of modern society, enabling enormous gains in medical research. AI will determine the success or failure uh, of all drugs and therapies and companies from now on. IBM's Watson can read every research paper on cancer ever written in eight minutes and spit out cross-references by the thousands, and we're now on the third generation of Watson. AI tied in with big data allows custom designing of molecules to target your specific personal disease. The AI big data combo will also cure every major human disease over the next day, decade, creating a one trillion a year market for cancer cures alone. Uh, big data is the mining of massive databases now becoming possible for the first time by both government and private industry. Big data is getting new software applications to enhance understanding and massive server farms to house the data. This has delivered a tenfold bold increase in the rate of discovering new drugs and finding once impossible cures. Putting the DNA sequences of every person in Iceland into a single database, a mere 250,000 people, 
has already cured several diseases. What happens when that approach is implied to the entire US population or the entire world population? The data opportunities are absolutely massive. CRISPR technology is going to be key in the future. This is the cutting edge for gene editing created by my friend, usually Berkeley professor Jennifer Doudna. It stands for, and I'll say this quickly three times, CRISPR case nine stands for clustered, regularly interspaced, short palindromic re repeats. You have to be a bit of a DNA nerd to understand what all of this needs. Uh, suffice to say, it means you, you don't like the DNA you have, you can change it anytime you want. That is the end result of what CRISPR can do. It is a custom designed molecule to make a cut at a specific DNA uh, location. We use to turn genes on and off or take out bad genes and put in good genes. Uh, it can be used to insert, insert uh, pieces of DNA to cure hereditary conditions. It's already killed uh, uh, sickle cell anemia, and it's at the forefront of finding future COVID-19 cures. CRISPR applications can identify, cut, remove the gene that causes sickle cell anemia. One person in Georgia has been cured so far. Mass production is now underway, uh, thanks to a massive round of funding obtained from Europe. CRISPR was used to make unborn twins in China immune to AIDS uh, by taking out the responsible gene. But the doctor who did this was sent to jail because he was operating on unborn people. G research on genetic immunity to other diseases is underway. Uh, are you ready to choose your own child's eye color, hair color, size, muscle mass, or intelligence? These are the possibilities going forward with CRISPR technology uh, and has opened up all kinds of ethical questions. Genes can and will be turned off at will, such as for appetite. There's your obesity cure right there. What if you lost the gene to become hungry? What if you lose 100 pounds? You can then turn it back on again. These things will be possible in the future, and we already have the tools to do it. Um, this is CRISPR technology itself, uh, one of the three spin-offs companies using this technology. And we got a seven bagger on this uh, going into the pandemic and we came out and it's right back into serious buy territory right now. Uh, stem cells, another big revolutionary technology has been evolving for the last uh, 20 years or so. A stem cell is an early pre-cell precursor that can be turned into any kind of human cell. Today, stem cells are harvested from your own bone marrow and then injected into any part of the body that needs repair, like your knees. They then turn into new cells where they're most needed. In the case of your knees, they get turned into cartilage cells, eliminating the knee for future knee transplants. The process is FDA approved, uh, but not covered by insurance and costs about $1,000 per joint. I did it myself. I've done it twice now, five years ago, and I had it done a few weeks ago. I had uh, uh, stem cells uh, harvested from my back, my backbone, my spinal canal, uh, centrifuge down to only the stem cells, uh, and then injected into my knees. Uh, this um, has extended my backpacking career by at least five more years. Several of my re uh, readers uh, use my doctor and obtain the same results. Uh, however, if they say it doesn't hurt a bit, don't believe them for a second because they have to hammer this needle through your backbone in order to get the spinal fluid, which has the stem cells. When it wears out, you just do it again like I did. Uh, but next time, the source of your stem cells may be the fat cells around your middle. This is all science fiction a decade ago, but was commonplace today. And there's my stem cells. I got one hypodermic's worth for each knee. Uh, didn't hurt when they put them in. And uh, uh, you got one day of swelling, and then it goes away, and then off to the next 10-mile backpack. 
uh, a biomed scientist is one of the players here. Uh, this is a Mad Hedge three bagger for us already, and I'm looking for the stock to go to 500. Monoclonal antibodies, another revolutionary technology. Uh, and this was used to, uh, to uh, attempt a COVID cure, but was not successful. It uses a virus to give uh, a mouse a disease. Mouse produces antibodies to that disease. You take the DNA from those antibodies, insert it into a virus. The virus then goes into a human. Uh, the, the virus DNA is incorporated into the human DNA, much like a flu virus does, transferring immunity. This process is now being tried on COVID-19, arthritis, Crohn's disease, asthma, leukemia, lymphoma, and breast cancer and hepatitis C. So kind of a complicated roundabout way, but it works. Um, <clears throat> this shows you how it works to uh, actually attack a specific disease. You harvest the uh, 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 spleen cells from a mouse. Uh, they're used as a template cell to grow viruses, and that eventually is injected into you. Uh, Eli Lilly uh, has an FDA approval of monoclonal antibodies for COVID-19, and that is a Mad Hedge three bagger. And we got uh, my target on this share is four hundred dollars a share. Medical devices enable tremendous advances in medical procedures, allows remote surgeries. A doctor in India can operate on a patient in the U.S. through the internet. Great advances in material sciences bring hip and knee replacements that can be painlessly last forever. Virtual medicine will be the next big thing and cut healthcare costs enormously. The pandemic greatly accelerated all of this with no human contact. Uh, Teladoc, of course, has been the pioneer in this area uh, and it's just dropped from 320 to 140. That may cut a screaming buy at this level don't see it falling any more than the 200-day moving average, which is down another 20 bucks from here. And we are targeting uh, that it goes back to 300 where it was a year ago. So uh, buy Teladoc at these levels. Uh, so let's test your biotech and healthcare IQ. Which disease do you need cure? These are the 10 largest drug companies in the world by profit. And of course, the number one profit profitable drug in the world is Humira, uh, which cures arthritis. That's made by AbbVie, which has been a top recommendation of ours for years. Uh, Pfizer has Lipitor for cholesterol. Amgen has Enbrel for rheumatoid arthritis. Roche has uh, a chemotherapy drug. Celgene, multiple myeloma. Johnson & Johnson, Crohn's disease. Amgen has Epogen uh, for anemia, and that's used for cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy. Uh, Roche, again, has Avastin for breast cancer, and GSK has uh, an asthma drug, Advair. Uh, okay, let's go on. Share buybacks, another big healthcare push. Biotech and healthcare companies are spinning off profits so fast they are creating massive cash balances. Dividend demands of a low interest world are minimal. So there's nothing to do but buy back your own shares with the extra cash. When the supply of shares falls, the price can only go up. Amgen alone has 15 billion to buy back their own shares or about 10% of their stock market capitalization. $1,000 invested in Amgen 1983 is worth $2.72 million today. I know because I was involved in the startup of Amgen myself. My professor became the chief technical con uh, consultant for the development of the technology. And I have stayed in touch ever since. Uh, so uh, to take advantage of everything I just mentioned, I am offering the Mad Hedge Biotech and Healthcare Letter. It's the one sector you must absolutely follow on a daily basis. It is a twice weekly read of the most important developments in biotech and healthcare, giving you the best stock plays, 
includes a time-sensitive trade alert service sent out at market sweet spots. Uh, it is researched by season and dedicated biotech and healthcare analysts. Uh, it will send you immediately actionable trading and investment ideas on every important stock and subsector in biotech and healthcare. Finally, the detailed understanding of biotech and healthcare you have long been searching for, one of the least covered industries in the market. Uh, it also includes the Mad Hitch Technology Leap Service. It's a strategy to multiply your biotech profits from five to 100 fold. Leap stand for long-term equity anticipation securities. They minimize your risk while maximizing your profits. It's an ideal strategy for high tech, uh, high growth biotech companies. Gives you a very low risk with a very high return. They're only issued in the highest growth stocks uh, with the best quality when they have extreme oversold conditions like right now. This is where the big money is going to be made in biotech. I'll give you an example of a, a, a LEAP transaction. Uh, Moderna $90 calls expiring in 2023. We bought these a year ago for $10 when Moderna shares were trading at 70. Actually, we bought them uh, three years ago. Uh, the break-even point was 80, you know, 70 plus $10 is 80, up 12.5%. Then Moderna shares rose to $190. The net profit there was 190, uh, minus your initial cost of 80 or 110. That is an 11-fold increase or 1,100% increase on the position. With high growth companies, a 12.5% gain is no problem, and a two-year expiration makes it a no-brainer. You only need one out of 10 of these to work to get spectacular returns. In reality, all of our LEAPS recommendations up until now have been winners. Uh, Mad Hedge has a proven history of delivering blockbuster biotech and healthcare recommendations. It has in-depth research reports on the target company and industries that we send out. Get in on the early stage of every big trend. Let a 50-year biotech and healthcare veteran translate his experience into winning trades for you. And yes, that is a 24-inch rainbow trout, which I caught at Pyramid Lake in Northern Nevada. Unfortunately, it's catch and release up there, so no trophy for me. 84.73%. Uh, this is what I can do for you. That's our trailing one-year return. And uh, if you think I just got lucky in the last year, this is our return over the last 14 years. We have averaged 44.91% a year, average annualized return. That is 2.23 times the S&P 500. And notice on the right, since the market crash began uh, in January, uh, the Dow is the spies been going straight down and we've been going straight up because we have been running massive short positions and aggressively trading the bond market at the same time. Here's how it works. We found uh, our alg algorithm, our market timing algorithm, found an opportunity was setting up here in Gilead Sciences. So we put out a buy and this is what a trade alert looks like. Uh, we only put these out at market sweet spots, send you a text message, which can get to you in five seconds and an email. And it says, uh, buy, buy the Gilead Sciences at $60.17 or best. It's an opening trade portfolio weighting of 10%. To get a 10% weighting in a model $100,000 uh, portfolio, you needed to buy 166 shares for a $10,000 exposure. So what happened with this trade alert? Uh, we got 32.7 profit in three months. Did we just sit around and pat ourselves on the back? No, we put out a sell recommendation and that looks like this. Uh, take profits, sell Gilead Sciences for 79.87 or best. It's a closing trade. And on this particular trade, we made $3,270 on our uh, $10,000 investment uh, in only three months. Uh, so this is sort of our hall of fame for biotech winners. 
Uh, we got a three bagger for Thermo Fisher, which supplies glassware and equipment to the biotech industry. And we're targeting $600 there. Uh, we got a 2X on United Health Group. We're targeting 500 here. Uh, and Medtronic, we got a 70% gain uh, and we're looking for 150 there. Uh, Zoetis um, is a uh, animal healthcare stock. We got a 2X on that one. You need a real pro to guide you through the biotech and healthcare maze. Not all biotech and healthcare is monolithic. They are both great biotech stocks and completely awful ones. You can earn 10X on the great ones and get wiped out by the lemons. Let Mad Hedge steer you to the profitable trades. So this is what I'm not gonna charge you for this service, I'm not gonna charge you $100,000. That's what I charge my major health uh, hedge fund clients for advice on biotech and healthcare sector. And they're happy to pay because it makes them millions of dollars. And I'm not gonna charge you $10,000. That's what I charge my concierge clients for my personal one-on-one -on -one counseling. And I'm not going to charge $1,500. That's the full price on my website for the Mad Hedge Biotechnology and Healthcare Letter. Uh, this is the real deal. Creating a service cost me millions of dollars with the best customer service in the industry running it cost me millions of millions of dollars more. Uh, here's the offer you can't refuse. Six months for just $996. This is for new subscribers only. It's a one-time 33% discount from the website price. Just click on the chat box on the right. That'll take you to the dedicated sales page where uh, you can take advantage of this offer. With your subscription, you will get a twice weekly research newsletter highlighting the most important developments in biotech and healthcare. Uh, you get immediately actionable text and email trade alerts sent out at market sweet spots same day answers to emailed questions about specific biotech companies, special reports on the dominant trends and players in biotech and healthcare, access to a biotech and healthcare 13 year database, gaining an unfair advantage in the most important investment theme of your lifetime will be the best decision you've ever made. Uh, this is the Mad Hedge Biotech Healthcare Letter, comes out every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, you also get the Mad Hedge Hot Tips, the five most important things that happened today and what to do about them. Uh, you also get my book, best-selling book, uh, Stocks to Buy for the Coming Roaring Twenties. Uh, and you also get my annual asset review for 2022. So far, everything I predicted has come true. Although I didn't predict the war, I got that one wrong because it was such a terrible decision. Uh, here's the offer you can't refuse. Today and only through this web webinar, let me show you how to make the money to pay for your own subscription. Subscribe now, you will immediately receive an urgent trade alert on the tech stock you must buy right now. Probably cover the cost of this letter for the first three months, if not several years. Just click on the chat box on the right. Uh, okay, 90% of these trade alerts make money immediately, so time to get in is now. Uh, and let's go balloon flying again. So uh, when you make millions of dollars for your clients, you get a lot of pretty interesting invitations. $5,000 cases of wine, lunches on super yachts, free tickets to the Olympics, and dates with movie stars. So it was in that spirit that I made my way to Albuquerque, New Mexico to participate in their annual balloon festival to meet my subscriber, uh, James Branson. When I first met James years ago, he was toiling away trying to make a cattle ranch in Arizona pay, unsuccessfully so. He signed up for my entry level uh, biotech service and started booking winning trades by the hundreds. It only took him a year to upgrade to my concierge service where he started making the real money. After only four years, he made enough to sell his ranch and pursue the love of his life, hot air ballooning. He set up a business to take tourists into the air, starting out with a modest six passenger balloon. By the time I met him, he'd graduated to a monster 16 passenger airship 
that was at least 100 feet high. It was a crystal clear morning when he let me pilot the balloon up to a breathtaking 9,000 feet over the New Mexico desert. Let me make millions of dollars for you as well as I have done, uh, uh, as I have done for thousands of people over the last 14 years. I look forward to working with all of you, and that's our ritual glass of champagne, which pilots can only drink after the landing, not before. So subscribe now. Uh, here is the trade alert chart that I'm going to send you. Uh, this is the teaser. I'm not going to uh, tell you what it is now. You have to subscribe. But if you do subscribe, you'll get this in your inbox within seconds. So six months for just $996 for new subscribers only. Uh, just click on the chat box on the right. And we have about 15 minutes to go through questions. So Kate, why don't you go through the chat box on the right. Tell me if there are any questions uh, related to biotech that you wanna pull up and I'll start answering the general questions on all asset classes. Uh, here's first question. What are your thoughts about the nickel market closing down with this crazy up move? Uh, is it more about hyper leverage than anything else? No, it was about short covering. Uh, you know, nickel had a big move going into the Ukraine war. Uh, and the actual, uh, and a lot of people bet that the war wasn't going to happen. When it did, you had panic buying of shorts, which led to virtually a double in one one day. And that's the great thing about commodities. You can't make them in a hurry. You can't just click a, a mouse and produce more supply like you can with stocks and bonds. It takes at least 10 years to bring a brand new nickel mine from scratch onto the market. Uh, and that's why you get this enormous volatility when supply is cut off. Uh, okay, read another question here. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, the price of oil has rechased uh, $37 from its high from last week. Where does it go from here? I think the volatility continues for the short term. Once the war ends, it goes to zero. Yes, we are in the process of replacing oil and all carbon sources as an energy source. May take 20 or 30 years to do it but eventually uh, oil will become the next buggy whip industry or the next American leather industry as it is replaced by more efficient technologies. Uh, okay, another question here. Uh, is there a global threat to COVID spreading in China uh, since it has already shut down two iPhone factories in the Northeast part of the country? And the answer is there is always a risk all the time, not just now, there, there was a risk of a pandemic continuously for, for, since the human race began. We lucked out and then it was 100 years since the Spanish flu hit. Uh, we actually had several uh, mini uh, pandemics such as Ebola or SARS in the last 20 years. Uh, and I warned hedge funds and the government for years that we were way overdue for a pandemic just like the one that we had. So can we get another one? I guarantee you, you'll get another one. The question is, do we have the technology to control it uh, and limit its damage? Um, you know, when you think about it, uh, a million deaths in the United States out of a population of 330 million isn't really that bad. Uh, and it's half of what the Spanish flu did 100 years ago. So don't panic every time you hear the word variant or pandemic. These things are all controllable, but only if you have the right technology and the right leadership. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I always read in your newsletters about Tesla, but can you tell me how much worse are the products from Chinese alternatives like Xpeng and Neo? Well, the problem with uh, Chinese electric cars, the safety is terrible. They catch on fire a lot. 
and they're unable to mass produce in sufficient numbers at sufficient quality. That's why there has never been a Chinese car of any type sold in the United States. They can't meet American safety standards. And I imagine that will always be true. Uh, and it's especially true now that we're having a trade war. So uh, I have been to Chinese electric uh, car factories in China and the, the difference is really obvious. Um, uh, here's another one about Netflix. What do you think about Netflix here? The stock has dropped by half. I actually wanna buy Netflix down here. It's in the low 300s. They basically have taken on all comers in the streaming industry and they have won. Uh, you know, Disney made a big splash with their streaming service, but they're nowhere near to catching up with Netflix. So buy Netflix on the dip. Uh, okay, question here on stock splits. Is it a psychological boost or just an accounting gimmick? Well, it really is an accounting gimmick, but it does open up new categories of buyers uh, with lower prices. You know, when uh, Amazon announced its stock split, it, it will take the share price from $3,000 a share down to 150. At 150, a lot more people can afford to buy the stock uh, and the option plays that go with that. So it actually does have a positive effect in that it always brings in new categories uh, of uh, investors. And if you look at the big companies that have done splits in the last year, they're all great companies that are growing like crazy. And I'm thinking about Apple, uh, NVIDIA, and Amazon. So uh, a split is also a sign of health on the future growth of the company. People are gonna, not gonna split the shares just, be, just before it collapses. Okay, uh, let's keep going with the questions. Kate, have you found any questions for me? Because I can't read the uh, um, yeah. chat box here. Yep, yeah. So what do you make of yesterday's news that the government funding of COVID testing slash treatment presuming, presumably did not pass? Uh, probably because the pandemic is over uh, and we don't need as much funding as we needed even a month ago. So I wouldn't see that as the end of the world. Uh, but if we do get another new variant or a new serious pandemic, you can bet the government will make trillions available as they did the last two years. Uh, when cases uh, drop 96% in a month, that is not an argument for new funding of COVID treatments. Uh, any more questions? Yeah, I'll actually make this one a two-parter. Is 10K the suggested amount trade to make um, trades tenable? Well, you know, that's a totally arbitrary amount. You know, people who enter this service have anywhere from $500 to invest up to 20 billion. So I just artificially picked a $100,000 model portfolio divided into 10 $10,000 positions uh, to make the math easy to calculate so people can adjust the, to their own size. And in actual fact, when people start trading for the first time, I tell them to use no money at all. All of your brokerage accounts now have practice trading accounts where you can invest using pretend money. And I suggest people start with that uh, you know, do a few trades. When you make them profitable, then you go on to real money, but only start with one contract or one share of stock. Uh, that way, if uh, you make a simple mistake, like confusing buy and sell, which happens a lot in the beginning, uh, it doesn't cost you any money. Uh, when you get totally comfortable with your online platform, that's when you can really start ramping up. Hey, any more questions? Or what's the second part to that question? Yeah, uh, what is your number one biotech stock? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you because it's the trade alert that we send out uh, to buyers. And the chart was up there on a previous page. I'll even uh, show you the chart. That That's our number one biotech stock. 
But to find out what it is, you have to buy the service. So, uh, but suffice to say, there are lots of candidates. We covered several of them in this webinar. Um, and the recording for this webinar will go up on Tuesday next week. So if you want to watch the webinar one more time, please feel free to do so. It's free. Just go to the madhedge.com website where all 24 webinars uh, from this summit will be up and running. Okay, uh, next question. What do you think of the market strength in the last two days? Uh, the market was so extremely oversold that you only needed a tiny uh, piece of uh, good news to trigger a monster rally. And uh, since you asked, I will take a look and see where the market is right now. Uh, and we are up 399 on the day. And the TLT is up a third of a point. So, uh, yeah. It, you know, you you really want to be careful when you're selling short the market. Uh, you know, you never want to sell into a hole, which is where we were on Monday. Um, and on the other hand, let this thing run for a few more days. I might be interested in shorting again because uh, I don't think the Ukraine war is going to end anytime soon. Uh, that said, if you suddenly see a headline Putin assassinated, then you can expect a 3,000 point rally in the Dow average in uh, a week and the prices of oil and all other energy plays to completely collapse. So that is the risk in taking positions in this market right now. A lot of short term traders have completely quit the market and are waiting for the situation to resolve itself before they do anything. Okay, any more questions? Yeah, there's quite a few, but I know we're running up on prize time in our next speaker. Um, is there a maximum that your LEAPS options contracts will be sellable? A maximum that what? That your LEAPS options contracts will be saleable. saleable? Uh, the only maximum is the uh, CME uh, position limit of 2,000 contracts. And a leap involves, you know, buying uh, a leap spread, for example, would involve buying uh, a near money contract, a near money strike uh, in 2000 contracts and selling short 2000 contracts of a farther out of the money to increase your leverage. Uh, here's a question. Uh, the ARK Innovation ETF, ARKK, is at $55 and have been a straight line going lower. Uh, is 25 a realistic bottom? Uh, what can we expect? And the answer is uh, Kathy Woods uh, only invests on a five year time frame. And if you're willing to wait five years to get results, ARK is just for you. Um, uh, there is no way of defining a bottom uh, because most of the things she invests in don't make any money. Uh, so you can't use price earnings multiples or other valuation measures like you can in a traditional money making stock. Uh, so it is a classic falling knife situation. I'd rather be buying on the way up than on the way down. That clearly worked last year when it hit an all time high. Right now, I think they're just better quality, lower risk plays uh, available in the market than chasing uh, ARKK and trying to bet on the bottom. Uh, okay, any other questions? Um, yeah, does your newsletter give specific advice buying underlying versus leap, for example? Underlying versus what? Leap. We, you know, we give uh, every trade alert we send out gives people three choices. It gives them a stock play, an options play, and an ETF play. And that way people can tailor their positions to meet their specific experience levels and risk tolerance. You have people who just want to buy stocks, which they can put into their retirement funds and forget about. Uh, and you have people who want to be betting the ranch on every trade. 
And the way to do that is with a, you know, a, a near month, deep out of the money option play. So uh, we cater to every risk appetite. Um, we give you all the information you need to uh, customize those positions uh, for yourself. So uh, that is pretty much it for today. Uh, just let me check my store and see if uh, any buyers have come in. Uh, da, 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 da. What have we got here? And the answer is we have quite a few buyers. Um, <laughs> Uh, all right, so we have Ian from Cambridge, England, has bought the biotech and healthcare letter. Thank you very much, Ian. Promise to work hard for your money, and the trade alert should be in your inbox. And since the market is open, you can execute right now. Uh, same with Seth in New York City. Seth, check your inbox. Uh, if it's not there, it's likely in the junk folder. Uh, that's often where emails go when you're receiving uh, an email from somebody for the first time. Okay, we have Judy in Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you very much, Judy. Uh, I remember I used to go there quite a lot when I was dating my old friend Sybil at a mansion up on the uh, Mississippi levee. We have Jeff in Plattsburgh, New York. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, promise to work for your money and welcome to the club. 